So the Boogaboo Dragonfly has been announced, and is set to launch on June 7th. And while we're still waiting along with the rest of you to actually get our hands on it, I wanted to give our initial impressions of the model, as our commentary section is increasingly blowing up with requests to cover it. From first look, I have mixed feelings about the model, being on one hand quite happy that they're finally replacing the bee, whose design is seriously outdated at this point in my opinion, and also find a few elements of the model pretty innovative. But at the same time, there are also a few design choices that are potentially worrisome. And today, I wanted to share our speculations, looking at three specific areas of the dragonfly, the fold, seat and basket size, and how the model might feel to drive. And starting off with the fold then, I'd like to begin by saying that the way it all falls into place when folding is frankly pretty cool. And after the Fox 5 and Butterfly, I was a little worried that they might quit with that clockwork-like feeling on their models that's always made them interesting from an engineering perspective. I can also see from watching many other reviewers online, who don't have the same scruples about not taking freebies from manufacturers that we do, that the fold seems smooth and easy to accomplish, and doesn't seem to get hung up, despite obviously being a bit complex. I like that the model can be folded down to a single piece with a bassinet. I like the use of the handle arms as feet, after they've punched through the central folding hub, in a similar manner to how the fold works on the Cybex Preem, since this presumably means that you don't have to lock the front wheels to get a standing fold. And I, of course, like the shoulder strap, for easier carrying. All that being said, I'm a little concerned about the fact that the seat frame seems to need to be collapsed, seat back to baseboard, before removing and reversing it, as this was a key cause of fiddliness with both the bee and ant. And I do wish that the folded package was shorter, though I'd like to note here that, despite the height, which may make a difference for some sorts of car trunks, the folded dimensions of the Dragonfly are actually a bit tighter than most other competing small-sized urban-oriented models. Moving on to the seat and basket, I haven't managed to get any exact measurements for these elements, only weight capacities. But from what I can see, with the seat, I like that it seems to have both a nice fully upright position and a full flat recline, that they've integrated an adjustable leg rest into the seat frame, and that the seat has sidewalls, where a lot of seats of this type don't. Knowing how they tend to design seats, I also believe that the baseboard is probably generously deep and that the backboard is probably decently tall. My guess is at least 50 centimeters. I also, however, unfortunately suspect that the canopy is flush with the seat back, and I really hope they've made it somehow raisable like on the Fox 5, as having good leg space won't fully save the model for older children if there's not enough head space. I also worry a little bit about inside width, due to the fact that the model's narrowness is one of its selling points, and that the removable seat frame and seat walls, of course, make seat width even narrower. As far as a shopping basket goes, the weight capacity is well above average, and it does seem to have some decent length going for it. But, note here that it doesn't exactly protrude off the rear frame in the same manner as the baskets of some competing size models do, but rather flaps out on the removable storage bag, which is something you have to set up and won't be as rigid. I'd also note that the handle is quite long, which will then naturally impede easy access from the rear a little bit. Looking lastly at how the model appears as though it will feel to drive, the wheel size is nice and the model looks pretty solid in its cross support for the most part, which means it's unlikely to feel too loose right out of the box. But there are, unfortunately, a few characteristics that worry me here. First being the length of the handle, which also seems a tad thin with the upper bar and might be a potential weak point as a result. Second being that the model looks pretty rigid, and the suspension seems pretty minimal, which could make it a bit rattly and bumpy over stuff like gravel or cobblestones, though this is one of those areas where it's harder to know until I can feel the model in my hands, as Boogaboo has never built with suspension quite like this before. Thirdly, that the rear frame slopes pretty far back in relation to the positioning of the seat, which could potentially make the model a little heavy to tip. Fourthly, that they've dumped the ridge on the tires that I always really liked, presumably because with a model this narrow and with such a long handle, it might have felt unstable otherwise. And lastly that, with that long handle and the fancy detachable purse, the brake pedal looks like it could be a little bit of a hunt to activate. Note that all of this is speculation still, and despite the worries, I am actually quite excited to get my hands on the Dragonfly, as Boogaboo does generally create fine-crafted products, and it's very likely that we'll feel a bit different in my hands than what I can see in the advertising. We plan to get the model as close to launch as possible, so if you're interested in seeing a full, in-depth, proper review, just stay tuned on our channel. And in the meantime, for any of you who've already had experience with the Dragonfly, please leave your impressions in the comments. I'd really like to hear what you think. 
In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.